Ohio Gazimas, Jesus Freaking Gamer here. Yep, Saturday's coming out Sunday morning, as per my usual. First Kings chapter 13. The message today is going to be a little interesting because I really. There was so much good stuff in First Kings 13. Go read it. It's really good stuff. There's so much content here that I that I get that I can understand. Like I could I really want to finish up that um, Psalm 18 slash for Samuel 22, so I probably won't preach on it later on today, or I should say Monday morning. But, um, yeah, it's just like, there's so much solid, for me, easy to understand stuff. Like, the meaning is just right there, and I, there's some things that I write, you can see where some people just be like, whoa, what? what? What is that? What's going on? And it reminded me of that message I preached I'll forget when it was. It wasn't incredibly far back where I just, there was a chapter at the end of 2 Samuel, and I just didn't understand it at all. And then I read this chapter, and it's so chock full of goodness. And there's some stuff in there that could potentially throw some people a loop because it just sounds weird, and the story's a bit weird. <laughs> well, that's the understanding coming out of me. That, that's, what, that's what all of that is right there. Some very gross and dark understanding. Some kind of bubbly stuff, too. I need to stop this. This isn't a gaming video. <laughs> this isn't mean to be overly entertaining or overly disgusting. But maybe it's a little bit of both. Anyway, it's so cool. It's like, after studying the Bible, and for me, it's been several years. I've been a Christian for a while now. Wow, I'm getting old, y'all. Um, and yeah, there's some stuff I get. There's some stuff I understand. I don't get it all. There's a lot. A lot compared to what where I was. There's quite a bit of stuff in this book. Here's the new Bible I got. It doesn't shed like the old one. It's not falling apart like the old one. It's nice and bright. And I should show you that page is flipping like I was doing. It's all nice and pretty and I like it. Thank you very much Amazon and thank you very much uh, Holman for printing this New King James Version that I'm using and I'm just so thankful for the things I do know. I've had a lot of questions, and I've gotten quite a few answers. And I've tried to share a lot of those answers in these brief messages, some more answers in the longer sermons that I do on Sundays. I'm looking forward to doing later on today, or like I said, Monday morning. So yeah, just if there was an overall message, it's just that the Bible may not have the easiest things to understand. It may have some stuff that still throws me for a loop, but I feel like I can say now I get more than I don't get. It makes more sense and sounds like nonsense. And even if you, I don't necessarily like everything that I've come to understand, especially the part about how the Lord, you know, has ordered the slaughter of women and children. And I've given those answers in previous videos. And I will not give the answer here again. I will encourage you to look up some of my older videos and see what I have to say. You may not agree with me. Um, you may not understand it the way I do. You may just think the Bible's a bunch of hoo-ha. But... I feel like the answers I've given, even if they're not pretty, even if they're not pleasant, they are logically consistent. Um, they do make sense of what the Word of God says. It's a different way of thinking, but it's it's coherent. It's not complete and utter madness and insanity and complete nonsense. And so, yeah, in this chapter, it just made there was so much good. It just made me reflect. Yeah, my understanding has grown quite a bit over the years, and the Bible doesn't just make sense in a few points to me now. It makes sense overall, and there are just there are a few things that don't make sense. A lot more makes sense than don't. So, you know, I'm starting to repeat myself and ramble like I tend to do, so I'll cut it off there. But yeah, just uh give the Bible a chance, guys, and try to let try to let some people who have studied it for a while, I will include myself in that number. Whew, God help me to keep staying accurate and logical and coherent. Give us a chance. Give us a chance to explain these things to you. And even if you don't like the answers, even if even if it doesn't all make sense to you, I would just I would really I would all I, would, I don't want to beg, but I would almost plead with you, almost beg with you. Give us a chance. Give us weirdo Christians a chance to make some sense and um, be honest and truthful with you, because there are some of us who genuinely love God. 
who really want to get the truth to you. Even, and try to make sense of the parts that don't sound so pleasant and don't really fit with our culture. Any culture of man is going to contradict a few things in the Word of God. And God's going to rub every human the wrong way in some ways because we're sinners standing before a holy God. And guys, on that note, I'm going to end it. Thank you very much for watching this video. I love you. God bless.